Welcome everyone, we are the Grin Hello. Brothers, we're continuing our playthrough of Donkey Kong Country Returns. Hello. Now hopefully I, we do well, but also I'm kind of hoping to die so I can try out this tea I've got, bro. Um, so, the thing you mentioned at the end of last episode reminded me of something. Good, because I can't remember why I mentioned it at the end of last episode. Um, in Sims 4, I people found a Sims way before. where... There's a certain perk you can get for your character. Oh, it's one of these cool levels. Um, Strange they only have like three of these, and yet they're kind of, you know, one at the beginning and then two straight at the end, towards the end worlds. Yeah. Bit of a weird placement sort of thing. I think this might be... Yeah, this is a Rambo level. You mean Rambi, right? Rambo is a very different thing, Rambi. <laughs> I know what I mean. Is <laughs> starring uh, Rambo, starring Rambi as Rambo. Um, yeah. So there's a um, perk you can get, which, from what I gather, basically just makes it so your character doesn't suffer like any form of embarrassment or anything, and they have no like social problems doing things. Oh, I can't use the jetpack at all. Huh. I think it's probably because... Hold on. Are you able to get off? There you go. And you can just jump. Yeah, no, I do it. Not that it actually does much, but it's like no. that. It allows me to keep the momentum up. I was about to say, do I get two Rambies now? <laughs> More. Rambi on Rambi! Um... Yeah, so it um, lets you just kind of do whatever without your sim suffering any social consequence, really. And people exploit this. So they leave their house as an empty plot of land with nothing on it. And just... Oh, no. Oh, oh. maybe I could have gone backwards. Okay. That was um, one hit kill. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's surprising. Um, and because their plot of land is empty, um, there's nothing to it, so they don't bother paying bills. And they just go and live in someone else's house. Or, like, using public resources. Because their character has no, like, socially awkward situations. Your character doesn't care. So they don't like react like they should do. So you can just use whatever you want. And I find it hilarious that people are just like, yeah, I'll just have my character live in someone else's house with no social repercussion. And I found this out. Usually the repercussion is someone starts, you know, decking you for living in the house sort of thing. Yeah, but the perk means that no one cares, apparently. Oh, no one else also cares. Yeah, they don't stop you. Um, and I found this out because a, uh, People video... are still playing Sims 4? Oh, yeah. A video where someone was living inside other people's walls. And he was like a little goblin man. As in, you know, um... In the game. Not in real life. Got a... Be oh. back for you, Rambi. They'd just sit there and wait for us. Good boy. Is he intelligent? Does he have the same intelligence level as the Kongs? I don't know. Don't think they've ever shown him talking sort of thing or anything like that. He's not capable of speech, but he could just be mute. Yeah. Never really thought about it. Probably shouldn't have thought about it. It raises <laughs> too many questions. Um. Yeah. The, before we started, I got a little bit distracted um, reading Sign Com Twitter. Well, there was your mistake there. Um, and it was from a screenshot from Pokemon Journey. Oh, is this about showing um, just how apparently Leon is just utterly going to destroy Diantha? Lord Diantha. Yeah. To the and point where she's down to one Pokemon. Yeah, and he's only used and two. Yeah, he's on his second. Yeah. Which is really good. As people said, ignore Charizard. 
She tried to take on her Dragapult with a Palucha. I mean, to be fair. And apparently they're not actually doing it as an actual fight, they're just kind of, you know, screenshotting it sort of thing. Okay, that's... Okay. I'm not... Hmm. That's a weird one. I'm hoping that repeats sort of thing. Oh, no Rambi. Oh, wait, there is Rambi. Lots of Rambi. Yeah, you have to use Rambi, yeah. Oh. I expect that would be faster, okay. Um, Sorry, I can rejoin the plane of existence now. But yeah, like, I just hate Leon as a character. Yeah. Well, I'm... Oh, yeah, I'm in the front. I'll still let you control that. It's just... I'll... I'll try and get to this. Fantastic. Um, it's all the Kong there, so... But yeah, it's like... Yeah, um, I hate Leon. Yeah, it's like, and it's like, well, at that point, it doesn't feel realistic for Ash to win at all, then, if he, you know, any oh. chance. If Leon's able to, you know, be that much better than everyone else. Yeah. Your battery yeah, dying? Must... Battery dead. Battery dead. Like, you know, it's also like how, you know, it was already weird enough where, you know, how he completely floored Alan. Yeah, given so, how strong Alan is. It's like, well, at this point, it's not realistic for Ash to win at all. I mean, to be fair, given how Ash has demonstrated, it's not really realistic for him to do well at all. It also makes, like, just... And it's like, it, make, it the whole makes... The it Galar f feel worse. Because it's like, okay, so, like, how strong is Reinhardt? Mm. It seems really dumb to have this gym leader be... Apparently. I mean, they apparently said that apparently the gym leaders of Galar were about as strong as a lot of the Elite Four members. Yeah, which is dumb. Yeah. Like, it shouldn't be. Um, but to, uh, to be fair, a lot of what they've done with Pokemon Journey Sun, which is sad because it was an attempt for them to finally do something different. Yeah, it's just bad oh, writing. I mean, again, the big problem is that no matter what they try to do differently, because it's all connected with Ash, and not as like a soft reboot thing like the movies, could do whatever they want sort of thing because they did do that soft reboot idea. Yeah. But because they didn't do that, and they still kept Ash around, it's... Oh, God. Oh. I didn't think it would do that. Yeah, I must admit, I was quite surprised. Normally, games Yeah, pause. and we're going to get the... Uh... Calm, that's fine. Was that the N? I thought we had all... I thought it was just the G that was left. It's the other one. Yeah, I know. Wow. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's just... Galar feels like a mistake. It is really sad to say that could have been, you know, hey, we've got English Pokemon, but yeah, they, you know, nothing's gone right with it. No, but the anime, like, I got, even the sort of shorts things didn't feel proper, what with their complete lack of any English acting. What the? F I ain't even touched that yet! Why would that start crumbling? Yeah, that didn't make sense. Well, what we'll do, I will jump off at that point to grab it. Get off. Oh, my tea does smell nice. Done. Sorry. You want to take a drink? Yeah, I'll take you it. You want me to take I'll I'll control. Okay. Well. Okay. So yeah, the tea I've got with me, and I just proved it, it's a first for this channel. It's a cold brew tea. Let me revive myself. Oh, okay, you can do that. It's a uh, cold brew tea. Uh, in this case it is let me actually find the information on it. Watermelon, strawberry and lime. It's a cold brew infusion. I brewed it for 10 minutes, a little bit over that actually. It's supposed to be 5 to 10 minutes, but I accidentally brewed it over. It smells nice. Mm, yes. Okay. The brand is, of course, Wittart. Um, and it's a refreshing brew of juicy strawberries intertwining with first quenching watermelon and balanced by a zingy tang of lemon. 
And of course, I've just I've been having a brew this entire time, which is why it's gone a little over 10 minutes, which is supposed to be for. But yeah, let's uh, see how this tea tastes. Okay, there's the flow, there's the flow. I gotta say, initially I was thinking, I was I gotta say, initially I was thinking to myself, huh, this doesn't have much flavour, but it comes more of an aftertaste here. It's, uh, well, okay, admittedly, ultimately, I don't think there's as much flavour in it as uh, what I had in Wittard itself. They had a much stronger watermelon. Yeah. Maybe I need to either stir it more, because I brewed it for, accidentally, over the 10-minute mark sort of thing. Um, so I felt it should be a lot stronger than this, but... You can get, definitely get the strawberry, definitely get the watermelon. I'm not sure about the lime. Oh, wait, there's a little bit of a passive taste of lime. But again, all of it's like going as a sort of short burst and then a settling, sort of like slowly settling aftertaste sort of thing. But the, but it's like just water initially sort of thing. Yeah. Which I think might be, again, either a lack of stirring, a lack of squeezing or something other that hasn't got it quite the sort of like uh, powerful taste that the um, one in store has. So, squish. Uh, may maybe they use colder water, maybe they maybe. boil the water and then let it cool down sort of thing. Oh. I just use tap water. Which of course, you know, tap water differs by place quite a bit. Hmm. It's nice, but not I know it can be nicer, is the thing. And I weirdly enough, despite being a watermelon tea have first, the, the strawberry flavour, this is a cold brew tea, not an ice brew tea. It can be done ice, but the ones I had in store were cold brew. You're supposed to just use uh, regular water, but maybe it's supposed to be chilled water sort of thing. It's not It's not meant with ice, you know, like frozen or such, like the iced teas. Um, yeah, you, you do just brew it in cold water. That's really weird. Hmm. Um... Yeah, because like, I'm not a fan of iced tea, but this cold brew tea actually tastes quite nice sort of thing. Again, this one doesn't taste bad, but it's not as good as I've had it before, so there must be a trick to it. Yeah. But yeah, that's my thoughts on warberry, straw uh, watermelon, strawberry and lime. Waterberry. <laughs> Waterberry. Uh, speaking of um, Pokemon, though, um, I'll be in basalt. Okay. Uh, speaking of Pokemon, though, uh, segueing off that, um, it saddens me the... Um, do you remember on Tumblr that I said that someone uh, sort of like liked and retweeted one of my, reposted one of my things or thing, you know, yeah. the reblog, retumble sort of thing, uh, and I had that question for you, they sort of commented to me and all that, should I, you know, reblog some of their stuff back, I know it's how the Tumblr algorithm works, but some people yeah. don't like it when you do that sort of thing, I follow someone, um, Springware, I yeah. believe that, no not Springware, um, Tumbleware, that's it, uh, and they're, they don't, you know, they post that article because they like it, but they don't kind of really want much attention sort of thing. Yeah, which is so, for instance, they got the hundreds of, like, hundreds of followers, and they said, you people all have terrible tastes. Thank you. Amazing. Um, but, like, you know, some people are like that sort of thing. Like, they like doing their drawings, and they show it to people, but they don't want to become big, big, which I guess seeing how people are when they become big, big, I kind of think that like, does kind of make sense. It still seems weird to me. Yeah. But, um, like, yeah. You're posting it online. Oh. I'm alive. Somehow. Uh, okay. Then when you need me, you do want to be alone. So you immediately <laughs> abandoned me. I see how this is. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Um. But yeah. So I ended up um, reblogging one of the uh, things of. Uh, this uh, uh, Tumblr artist, um, well, this artist, uh, Spring, uh, Spring 2013. Yeah. Spring 2013. I'll go for this stuff. But then you can't see. I need to see. Boing. Hello! Burning to death is temporary. Um, yeah, so I, okay. Ah, should have rolled, I guess. So I re-blogged one of his things sort of thing, and you know, he did have the odd chat sort of thing. And you know, they did mostly Pokemon fan art, whilst um, some of it could be seen as a bit suspect. Lo yeah. Lots of blushing, but I mean, if it comes to etchy art, if it's kind of the... What? I jumped! <laughs> I jumped! Apparently not well enough. But it's oh. the... What? There's a... Oh. 
Awesome. Good eye. Um, but it's a kind of, you know, it's a kind of a blushing character, Echi Awakai, actually, like, sort of thing. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, they're also good in terms of actually remembering characters from a lot of different series, sort of thing. Uh, they had a Pokemon Bow Revolution girl oh, in one right. of the drawings, you know, the one in the Kyoga costume? Yeah. Yeah, they actually remembered, like, some pretty obscure picks, which is really nice, sort of, to see. Um... One of us jumped on that three times, we'd have gotten, you know, coins and such. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Oh, that's also what I went to do. Maybe we should communicate. No. Oh. I thought I'd gone across. I definitely did not. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> you just... <laughs> you had so much just, time to react. <laughs> <laughs> you just It's like the frog in boiling water thing. You know, you slowly raise the temperature, they won't get out sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not in lava. Um Yeah, um But yeah, um I guess something they did must have not gone with uh Tumblr's guidelines because uh yeah, the Tumblr post got, uh, Tumblr thing got deleted. Sad. Uh, but the funny thing about that is that um, my reblog still exists. So there's this artwork, which apparently is not Tumblr approved, which is probably better, honestly, knowing what Tumblr approves. Um, male presenting nipples. <laughs> male presenting nipples. Why do these things move so... Oh. Why DK? <laughs> Sorry, I just didn't want to get, you know, stick around with these things which keep inevitably... Oh. Oh. There's going to be something for Lois there, like a letter. Isn't there? Yeah, there is. Gotta go back. Oh, uh, what? When did you take a hit? I don't know. Oh, back here we are. Good thing we just get two free yeah. balloons and... Yeah, so, uh, you know, technically, you know, uh, I've got this kind of, like... Incriminating <laughs> art now, forever, you know, preserved on my Tumblr post or thing. It shall forever remain, untouched. Uh-huh. <laughs> so it's like, okay. You're a Tumblr criminal. <laughs> Because again, you know, again, despite it not existing, if you try to click the link, it just doesn't exist. But it does, in you know, where it's presented on the, the Grim Bros Tumblr page now. So, yeah. um, and I guess on that other note about uh, Pokemon, if we want to continue that chain, uh, the, all the leaks about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, a lot of interesting Pokemon types. Hmm. A lot of interesting sounding Pokemon, but I guess we'll see how they actually come out. And once again, a complete lack of ground types. Okay, I'll do it. I'll... I think that slows it down or something? Try blowing, see what it does. Nope, it oh. makes it rain bananas. Ah, oh, darn it! Son of a bitch! Okay, I need you back to them by the way. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. heading back. Somehow. Do you want me to give it a shot? Yeah, given I'm on fire now. I'm guessing if you jump on them too early. Yeah.
You can jump up. Oh gosh. There we go. Oh gosh. Yeah, like. Yeah, I didn't realize they burn you on it. Yeah, lots of leaks. Um, the engine apparently has wheels instead of lights. Okay. Which makes sense, but at the same time, with how some of these come out, it's good to get some clarification. You know, again, I'm not sure they quite understand. I'm not quite sure they understand. Oh, we have to do all that to get that layer. Uh, I'm not sure they quite understand what Spain is, you know, what Spain known for. Carmen Rider! What? Carmen Rider! There's a lot of motorbikes and cars. I mean, the one thing they have got right about Spain is, um, hey, what are they like? Killing bulls! Okay, we'll introduce three different versions of Tauros. Do you think maybe it's not actually got anything to do with Spain and... How do we make sure show for Coco's uh, Spanish? Give him a hat! Is it a sombrero? No! Masuda was just binge watching Yu Gi Oh! and really likes the motorbike. Yeah. One. People have made the 5Ds joke before, yeah. It's Pokemon motorcycles. Um. But yeah, um. I've, it's been interesting that I keep, you know. Well, given that uh, previous uh, comment about Spring 2013's artwork sort of thing, the. Oh, they got rid of skirts because they're Crystal Maze. Meanwhile, Pokemon. <laughs> A brilliant time in Shining Pearl! Yeah. You and me. Well, yeah, you did just both go. You did do it last time, so. The jetpack does make it easy. He says, I see me in the burns today. Might go a little bit hard. Yeah. I'm on a puzzle piece, didn't notice that. Uh, I don't think I did it enough for the puzzle piece last well, time. I'm only on one health, so okay, now you're on one health. <laughs> and now I'm dead, I might as well join you down on the fire. Woohoo! Or maybe not. Yeah, um, yeah. the whole idea of, oh, we got rid of the skirts because of the Crystal Maze, but then Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, where it's reflective Pokemon center floors. Not even just that, it's like, we got rid of this because... Meanwhile, we've introduced the most husbandos and waifus possible, yeah, literally. including, according to the rumor, lowly waifu. Yeah. Literally, one of our starters is described as evolving into a waifu. So, like, mm. what? Oh, come on! That jetpack makes things so much easier. No, oh, no, we were right there. It's because Diddy Kong slid up yeah. and gained like some weird momentum. Hope you enjoy seeing this, folks. It's it's free lines. It literally compensates for. How bad we play. The puzzle piece doesn't matter, you can just grab it from you there. Um But yeah, like um But like it's interesting, you know, I wanted to think you know with my mindset of like, you know, I'm not planning to get the game. Nothing about it or mechanically sounds good to me. Yeah. Um and it doesn't help that it's had the same development schedule, not after Legends Arceus, where they could learn what works and such, but in tandem with it. Yeah. Which is never a good idea. Yeah. Apparently, both it and Legends Arceus were in development for three years, which I just don't believe. That means, wouldn't they have been in development during some of the Sword and Shield stuff? Yeah, probably. Actually, yeah, that, to be fair, now that I could believe. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Sword and Shield was actually first being built off of the 3DS sort of thing, so... Yeah. But it had been probably built around the time. Because again, DLC. Masuda was expecting, and the Pokemon Company were expecting things to go mobile, because the Switch was bound to fail. Yeah. It's funny thinking, I, I thought the Switch was going to fail. Like, it's funny thinking. It 
DK is still big DK grabs. Like, I didn't actually jump into that. My DK is 69 model. bananas. Um, I seek death. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what he dabbed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, you know, I've, I've seen sort of like, well, again, based off the leak sort of thing, you know. I know what, you know, Pokemon are probably at this point adding to the team, but I mean, the only one that's like, I really like the sound of that poison crystal sort of thing. Yeah. Which, which is, uh, so apparently the flat salt Pokemon might be a separate thing to it, but people keep associating it with the salt flower. Maybe they've got some sort of well, connection. Well, salt Pokemon sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it was like, uh, Sprigato, because I'm still depressed by my cat. Um, poison rock, uh, poison often rumored to be poison rock uh, flower, crystal yeah. flower. Although that could just be it being Terra Max or thing. Um, but I still like the look of what I've seen from the leak screenshot thing. Apparently, there's an electric, uh, was it electric psychic frog? Yeah, which does sound really cool. Um, uh, bug spider, new spider. Yep. Um, there was um, Ghost Dog. Yeah. And there was another, I'd written it down. So, oh, yeah. The apparently steel type, pure steel Worm. earthworm. Um, and of course, you know, them actually having proper evolutions for both Dunsparce and Giraffe two Pokemon I used, with Dunsparce being my second favorite Pokemon of all time, does, is really appreciated. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you know, there's a lot of Pokemon that are already sort of appealing to me, sort of thing. Admittedly, it's based off leaks or thing, and they've been very slow revealing information. They they must be aware that all this stuff gets out. This is the most leaked Pokemon game of all so far. Yeah. And it's like, why not just actually announce this stuff? I guess they're just saving on their advertisement. Like, budget. you can have they're surprises, like but you might as well keep those surprises as part of the story and such, not the actual Pokemon. We show those out straight away, sort of thing. The main leak source has actually said that they're not going to do any of the story spoilers. Yeah. Because... They don't want the spoilers to be leaked out on the internet because so many people want to wait and be surprised by it, mm. which I respect. But, you know, like Pokemon thing, knowing, you know, where to go for your Pokemon rather than the frustration of it all. Yeah. Like, I tried to avoid knowing the Pokemon in Sword and Shield, but I gave up because it was like, um, I wanted to be able to plan out a team. I didn't want to go searching for this, you know, if, you know, imagine the people who like, I always wanted, uh, you know, a um, Stone Journer. And the yeah. frustration of like, trying to get Stone Journey sort of thing. Yeah. And worst would be the uh, old Sea Urchin. Um, I've had, you know, I had similar I'm problems sure. with uh, back in Gold and Silver. I wanted a Slugma. Oh, yeah. But that's not available until, you know, the point where there's no point really playing after that with Slugma. <laughs> it's a Pokemon designed clearly to be a, you know, early root fire type sort of thing. Which has never happened really before. No. Um, and then they proceeded to put Slugma at the very end post game yeah a very bizarre choice i don't understand why they don't want you to do it to get a fire type early on slugma is perfect as a early stage fi yeah. as a early game fire type it's not like he's that good it's got a niche that it can fulfill but mm. like it's not exactly great yeah you might as well have it as something you can catch either bef before the second gym sort of thing yeah but that and well, i guess now you could but it could probably be level 50 in scarlet and violet and none of the gyms are scaled! Yeah. Quick boards are going to be so broken. You got any of the leaked Pokemon? Um, before we continue, uh, uh, well, it's the end of the episode, but it's a miser. Um, we can talk more about Pokemon next episode. Yeah, sure, sure. I do have one other question related to it. And then you said you had something else to talk about, so. No, I've done the two things I was going to Was it two things? Yeah, Sims football. Freeloading off other people's houses. Oh, and the Bills Above thing, yeah. Okay. I don't know, I already talked about it. Was the other There's thing probably there? other things I can do. Oh, there's the Pokemon that. Journeys thing, yeah, okay. Cool. I've got a huge list of things to talk about. Yeah, it's real sad about the whole Spring 2026 situation. Mean, there was a whole case. Dota patch I could talk about, but. Yeah. Any case! Uh, like, comment, subscribe for content. And cheerio! Bye!